Hey Titans, this is Mr. Sturtz. Um, we're going to have a short little video over the discriminant, which is in section 9.5. It's with the quadratic equation, um, and we're going to kind of just see what that discriminant shows us when we're graphing quadratics. Okay, now interpreting the discriminant. So what the discriminant is, if we show our quadratic uh, formula here, we have negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. What the discriminant is, is it's just this value under the square root. Okay, It's just the value under the square root. It's b squared minus 4ac. All right, And we can determine how many solutions there are by just solving this discriminant. All right, If we solve it and we see that it's a positive number, if it's greater than 0, we have two solutions. If it equals 0, if it's equal to 0, we have one solution. And if it's less than 0, we're going to have no real solutions. If it's ever less than zero, we're actually not even going to solve the whole thing because we right away, we know there are no solutions. So that can save us a little bit of time. Okay, a couple examples here. Um, so we just, we're just going to solve for the discriminant. Okay, and remember what that is, is it's just b squared minus 4ac. All right, so let's go ahead and figure out what our a, b, and c are. Our a is the number before x squared, which is 1. b is the number before x, which is 8. And c is negative 3. And we're just going to plug in and solve. So we have b squared, which is 8 squared, minus 4 times our a value, which is 1, times our c value, which is negative 3. All right, order of operations, we need to do exponents first. So we have 64 minus, we have 4 times 1 is 4. 4 times negative 3 is going to be a negative 12. So if we have minus a negative 12, same as plus a positive. And we're going to get, what, there's 76. Okay, we see that's a positive number. So if that is a positive number, we know there are going to be two solutions. And we'd obviously keep solving um, the rest of the problem, but all we're doing in this section is we're just interpreting the discriminant. So there we found that there are two solutions. It crosses the x-axis at two different points. Okay, we don't know the exact numbers yet, but that's how we would find those. Um, determine the number of real solutions for B. Now, in part B, they give it to us like this. We need to first write it in standard form, which they did for us. Okay, and that tells us our A is 9, our B is negative 6, and our C is 1. If we plug them into our discriminant formula, we have B squared, which is negative 6 squared, minus 4 times our A value, which is 9, our C value, which is 1. Uh, if we go ahead and solve, negative squared is a positive 36. Minus 4 times 9 is 36, times 1 is 36, so we have 0. So we know if our discriminant is equal to 0, we have one solution. Okay, and that crosses at one point on the x-axis.